I'll be demonstrating how to use the CIF4G annotator. What we see here is the CIF4G annotator inter interface. What you can do is select your VCF file. I'm just going to choose yeast uh, because it's fast. So, um, documents, just browse your VCF file. And then now I'm going to select the database. So um, I already have a human database downloaded locally, but I don't have yeast yet. So I select database to download, and then I'm going to go for Servicier, which is this one, and I just press OK. So this is going to go to the website and download the database locally. Um, it takes about an hour or an hour and a half for human and make sure that you are connected through a wired connection and not Wi-Fi because it will take forever if you try to do uh, it through Wi-Fi. Okay, the database has been downloaded successfully, so I'm just going to press OK. And now I can select this database. So I can select either Homo sapiens, or Saccharomyces. I'll, of course, select Saccharomyces because that's my VCF file. Now that I have both the VCF file and the correct database selected, I'm just going to press Start, and the annotator is going to annotate the variants. So you can see already chromosome 2, 3, and 4 have been um, annotated, and it lists the number of variants with SIF, for an with SIF annotation in this column and the number of variants without SIF annotation in this column. So we'll just let it run. It takes about a minute. And it updates. So now chromosome 1 um, is complete. And you can see that uh, its numbers have been updated. And we have two chromosomes left. You can also choose to annotate with multiple transcripts. Um, all right, so it's done. Here are the results. You can see two files have been generated. The first one is an Excel file and it contains only the variants that have been annotated by the SIF database. So these tend to be the coding variants and the UTR uh, variants, but not intronic or intragenic variants. And then also a VCF file. I'll just open up the Excel file first. Okay, so I'll be dragging the Excel file into the window so that you can see it. Um, you can see in the first couple of columns are uh, columns that identify the variant. So the chromosome, the position of the variant, um, the reference allele, the alternate allele. This is basically your input. Then we've added the transcript, the gene ID, the gene name, the region, um, the variant type, whether it's a synonymous or a non-synonymous variant, whether it's start loss or stop gain, the reference amino acid, the, the alternate amino acid. I'm just going to drag the window in and um, the amino acid position of the substitution, the SIF score, and a bunch of SIFT, uh, SIFT numbers. But you can see the last column is a SIFT prediction whether or not the amino acid change is deleterious or tolerated. So these are all of the annotations that are in the Excel file. And the VCF file is basically your input VCF file with the annotations, the SIFT predictions, uh, added in the eighth column. And the, in the VCF file, the number of rows matches the number of input rows that you put in in this file.